Hey guys, so today I have a really exciting video, for me anyway. Um, I have swatches of the Native War Paints 9-0 Lacquer Preview Collection. These are six polishes that I actually created in the lab with Amanda at Native War Paints. We are releasing these as kind of a preview to my own indie brand, which is actually coming very, very soon, and I'll have a more formal announcement um, of that shortly. I just kind of want to wait until I'm closer to my actual release date before I like really start pushing that one. So I will link, um, I have an Instagram account set up at 90lacquer, so I will link that down below. Keep an eye out for my, you know, big, long, drawn out, wordy announcement, which is coming inevitably, um, hopefully in the next couple weeks. These are going to be available for pre-order on August 14th, so I will link Native War Paints down below where you guys can find these, and I will get right into the swatches. So the first polish is a pink and silver holographic micro, kind of micro glitter. I meant this to be as a topper. You could technically wear it on its own, but it really works best as a topper. You could sponge it on, though, and you would get full coverage. Um, the name of this one is RBF, which stands for Resting Bitch Face. So pretty much my whole life, if I am not, like, focused on looking friendly, like if I pass somebody, like at school, pass somebody in a hallway that, you know, I don't know is there, but they know me, they would stop me and ask like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? And my response has always just been, nothing, that's just my face. So apparently uh, I look very, very angry when I am totally relaxed. So I am layering this one over polish called Sarah from an upcoming line from Native War Paints. So here's one coat. It feels weird to like review these because I helped make them, so... I don't know. This one can be a little bit base heavy in the beginning, so you do have to kind of move it around to make sure you don't have too much on your brush. It does cover well though, and since there aren't any huge glitters, it doesn't take any fishing or dabbing or anything like that. They do distribute pretty evenly on their own as well. So there is one coat of RBF. The next polish is called Melted Sprinkles, and this is a white curly base with a ton of matte rainbow glitter. Um, I tried to pick a color, like each rainbow color, in a different kind of shape and different size. So here's one coat. So this one has a really good distribution of glitter. You get a lot of glitter on your brush when you dip in. You do have to kind of dab it a little bit to get it to stick to the nail though and move it around. But I haven't had my bottle sitting upside down or anything like that. And I'm getting a really good amount of the large glitter out of it. So there is one coat. So here is two coats. So this one covers almost completely on two coats. It really depends on how much glitter you put on your first coat. How well the second coat is going to cover. So you could easily cover this in two coats if you did a little bit of a thicker coat. Or if you just don't mind some of the inconsistencies in the color like of the base, but I think I'm going to do three just to make sure that that base covers evenly. So there is two coats. So I accidentally did my third coat uh, without the camera recording. So what I said about this during the third coat was that um, I don't think that the third coat is entirely necessary to actually cover the nail. It really just depends on how much, how white you want the white base. Um, the formula is good. It just takes a little bit of manipulation to move the glitters around on the nail and distribute them evenly, but it doesn't take any um, fishing or anything like that to get the glitter actually out of the bottle. So there is three coats of melted sprinkles. So the next polish is called Split Pea, and this is a kind of chartreuse green. It has a little bit of holographic in it, and then these lime green holographic micro glitters. So this just ended up kind of looking like a sparkly split pea soup to me, so that's where the name came from. So here's one coat. So this one is a bit sheer on the first coat. It does need to build up. You get a ton of that micro glitter there though. Formula is good, super smooth, super easy to apply. A little bit brush strokey, but once you build it up, the micro glitters cover that up. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. I can still make out my nail line with this one in two coats, so it is gonna need a third. This has a slight kind of goldy yellow shimmer to it as well. So there is two coats. So here's three coats. This one is nearly opaque in two, but I could just see a little bit too much of my nail line. This is a color that everyone, I think, is going to like disagree on. I think you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I really don't see there being much in between. So there is three coats of Split Pea. The next polish is a deep blue holographic with silver flakies in it. So this one and the next two are all named um, after my cats, like the nicknames that I have for my cats, which are ridiculous. So this one is Little Cricket Foo Foo. So here is one coat. 
This one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. Most of the sizes of flakies will come out of this without any fishing or um, setting the bottle upside down, but some of the larger ones you might still have an issue with. You might have to set the bottle upside down for a few minutes before you polish with it. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. So this one covers completely in two, but since it is a little bit more on the jelly side, you might end up needing three depending on how thick or thin your coats are. The formula on this one is smooth and those flakies don't uh, feel gritty at all in the polish either. It does dry a little bit matte though, so you will want a top coat. So there is two coats of Little Cricket Foo Foo. So the next polish is called Lily Bug. This is also named after my cat, uh, Lily. This one is like a pine green jelly base with gold and silver holographic micro glitter. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. It is gonna take a couple to build up. Super easy to apply though. It, you really can't feel much of that micro glitter in there at all. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one almost covers completely in two. I think, depending on your preference, you could probably get away with two, but I can just see a little bit too much of my nail line, so I'm gonna do a third coat. This one is gonna dry very gritty and textured because of all the micro glitter, so you will want a good top coat to smooth it out. So there is two coats. So here's three coats. So this one covers completely in three coats, and I might be crazy, but I feel like it gets just a little bit deeper too. This was kind of my best attempt at a similar to Zoya's Dream and Aurora style polish, but with green. This one will probably be a bugger to remove though because of all the micro glitter. I didn't quite do the Zoya thing, but I did, I got close. So there is three coats of Lily Bug. So the last polish is a very similar to Lily Bug, but it is a kind of um, eggplanty purple jelly base with that silver and gold holographic micro glitter. And this one is named after my squeaky cat and uh, it is called Squeaky McSquawks. Her name is actually Squeaky. I watched Lindsay's video earlier and I know she was like not positive that her name is Squeaky. It's actually Squeaky because she can't meow, she can just squeak. So here's one coat. The jelly base on this one is also a bit sheer on the first coat, so it will need probably three again. Glitter distribution and formula and stuff are all the same though. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. So this one's still a little bit sheer on the second coat, so it's gonna need three. I'm working really, really hard on my polishes um, that I'm actually hand mixing myself to try to eliminate three coaters, but with some things, you really just need three coats. Make the base opaque enough to cover in two without ruining the effect of the glitter. So I am learning a lot. So there is two coats. So here's three coats. So three coats covers completely and you get that deep purple color that's in the bottle. This one will also dry a little bit gritty, so you will want a top coat. So there is three coats of Squeaky McSquawks. So it feels really, really wrong for me to try to pick a favorite just because I made them, you know? So I'm gonna skip the favorite part for this one, but again, that is the 9-0 Lacquer, which is my upcoming indie brand preview collection from Native War Paints. I will link Native War Paints down below. These are going to be available for pre-order on August 14th. And I'll have all the release details down in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye!